Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Planet Boobless. Doing a little dance, uh, finding the little bugs, uh, get down tonight. Alright, so I am here just dancing my little butt off in my new <laughs> new outfit. Still want to get out there and do some exploring. All these bugs just kind of appeared around me. Look at them. There's just... <laughs> okay, let's grab this one and this one. Hello, beautifuls. There's a lot. There's a lot of bugs. Okay, uh, bugs are something I wouldn't mind exploring a little bit into, but... Uh, I think we still got some more pressing matters to, to deal with until we uh, kind of dive into the insects. Uh, let's just dump all those in there. Man, I got a lot of bugs now. Um, we still don't have exactly like a really great power thing going right now, you know. But I mean, I do have the nuclear facility going, but I do need to actually get like some, some actual units down so I can increase uh, this number like a lot. Because we only have eight nuclear reactors at the moment. We are uh, not quite to the bug stage, but we're getting there. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell because there's bugs everywhere, but we're not quite there. Uh, let's make, let me just grab my beans and we'll get on with the rest of the episode today. Hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm having a good day here on the planet. Just chilling here with pl uh, plenty of food, unlike uh, um, this guy. This guy did not have a lot of food. Uh, Alright, so I kind of want to also check out this location here too. Um, and I kind of follow some of those things because I think I need to get a message from him to unlock other stuff like the trade rocket so i think it would be best if i actually did like spend a little time focusing on those coordinates there's things i want to do we did we explored last episode and saw some really cool stuff like really cool stuff but i'm sure there's more cool stuff out there so i kind of need to get out of my little hu house here and go check that out too i do want to continue with the terraformation it's like cooking though it's like cooking pretty quickly here we're we're going to reach the insect level today uh, we probably I see this little drone the effigy here, and I'm wondering how close are we to drones because that'll make my life so much easier. I'm like really far away, aren't I? Whoa, 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 whoa. T Y. Oh, that's animal food. I'm not. I don't know anything about the animals. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't know a thing about the animals yet. So, all right, drone station. Here we go. Now I believe we have to unlock the drones as well. And to do that, you do a thing, but I don't know what it is. Because we don't, we haven't unlocked the drones yet. Teleporters are getting close. Okay, so we, we're at uh, seven and a half GTI. We need to get to twenty-five to unlock teleporters. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. But um, the drones are—they're they're quite a ways away still. So we gotta, we gotta bump up the terraformation. We really gotta boost this thing. I think our weakest stat that we have might be heat, heat, and probably a little bit of pressure also. But heat primarily, I think we might need to focus on so we can unlock these things too. That make my life a lot easier too. Oh, there's so many things. I got these unlocked. The tier four drills. I believe we only have like what, like a couple of them right there. I want to terraform. I want to explore. There's so much stuff I want to do. I just don't know what to do first. <laughs> All right. So we did do a little exploring the last episode, but I think we're gonna kind of pick up where we last left off. All right. So Riley here l l sent us a message uh, to find these coordinates. Now I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me well, this will lead us to the warden kind of stuff, but. I think I'm going to head to the, this location and see where it takes us. Okay. The coordinates actually... I got the first coordinate right. It's uh, negative uh, 248. But the next one is 42, which is underground, which uh, makes me think it's the mushroom area. But then the next coordinate is 93, which is actually, like, somewhere way over there. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I'm going to go into the mushroom area. And I'm going to walk over to where I think this is supposed to be and see if the coordinates match up. Ah, uh, yes. Mushrooms. All right. So this is... The, I like how they added these on the outside, though. That makes it a little bit more clear as to where the mushroom cave actually is. So here we are down here. I have uh, been down here briefly just to look around, but I haven't been down here for any length of time. They got mushrooms growing on the ceiling. This is crazy. All right. So this is the. This is definitely the fungal cave. Good old mushroom cave. I like the Jello River that we got here. Take a big gulp of that. Now that I got the uh, water filter, I can do that. There are some really cool glowing uh, larvae that can appear down here. Look at the atmosphere. Wow, is that something new that they added? They had like the the blue sparkly stuff in the in the sky. That's some nuts stuff. All right, so this is the place I was thinking it was talking about. It's got another location there, including one of these things. I think I can just grab this out of here. But it hasn't told me to come here yet. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this right here for right now. Now, where did it tell me to go? I think it was somewhere over here, maybe? Hold on, wait, which way? Which way? Which way? Okay, it looks like I might have to leave the cave. There's another entrance right here that I'm coming out of. It looks like I might have to leave the cave. Oh, it goes into this place. Interesting. Although, wait a second. Hold on. Is this it? Is it, is it just directing me to the entrance of this place? It looks like it. Yeah, this is kind of like where, where it's telling me to go. Okay, just tell me to come, come down here. Maybe I am supposed to find that location. Maybe now instead of just telling you to go to the specific spot, it just says go look around down here. There's like a cave right there. Is that new? 
Because here's the here's the water wheel that I, I know of, and I think there, if I'm not mistaken, there is a gold chest down here somewhere. Somewhere, where is it? Where is it? Maybe I'm mistaken, or maybe they moved it. Oh no, it's right there. <clears throat> All right, there's a gold chest down here. Sweet, let's grab everything. Let's just grab everything. Sweet, got the golden chest from here in the mushroom cave. Uh, there might be another one. Who knows? There is this Indiana Jones-esque place right here, which needs uh, one of those uh, power things in it to open. Which, I mean, I know where one is. I do know where one is. But I did notice this right here. I, actually, I just noticed also that I'm running out of oxygen. Let me just take a big breath of fresh air while I'm down here real fast. I did grab the supplies on the way out here because I am a responsible planet crafter. I'm a responsible person. All right. <laughs> uh, what is this, though? This is new. I don't remember seeing this here. Is this just another entrance somewhere else? This is crazy. Hold on. What is, what is this place? What is this place? What are you? Are you uranium? Hey, you're uranium. Okay, so this would normally be uh, osmium. Was this always here? Oh, what's this? Is this? No, that's uranium too. Okay, this is normally be. Oh, there's some lava. This is so cool. I didn't know this was even down here. I mean, I don't. I don't need any of this stuff. I mean, the uranium I, I could use, I suppose, but I'm, I'm mining it. <clears throat> but it looks really cool. I mean, there's lava down here. That's really nifty. Uh, where does this come? Oh, it comes out in the lava zone. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That is so cool. Okay, interesting. I, I did not know this was here. See, this is why I get out and explore sometimes. You get to find some cool new stuff. I'm also getting further and further away from where I'm actually trying to get to, but look at this place. God, they did such a good job at, on this place. All right, I'm getting distracted, though. I got to get back. All right, so it looks like uh, it just told me to come down here and look. Uh, it no longer is as specific. as uh, Before the most recent update, they used to give you a coordinate to go to that was like right where that key was. I wouldn't doubt if there's like a gold chest hidden in here someplace, but I'm just gonna have to find that later, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they uh, I'm like looking everywhere now. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, they, they, they look at the stuff like dripping down through the top here. This looks so cool. Sorry, getting distracted again. Um, yeah, they used to give you a specific marker to go to. That's just a visual thing. Okay, I thought it might have been an explosive area. Specific marker to go to, and now it looks like they just direct you to the cave and it lets you explore. Wow, instantly, bam, we're in a pink area. <laughs> Pink area, F8 bug report. They just give you an area to go to now, uh, which is pretty cool. I'll take that. Um, and Super Alloy is kind of running a little low, so we'll grab that too. All right, so let's go back here, and we're going to grab that key, and we're going to bring it to the Indiana Jones Temple. All right, and that key was somewhere around here. Yes, here, okay. So here, it gives us uh, new coordinates to go to, and I'm pretty sure this just leads us right to where we just were. But we're going to go ahead and snag this thing. Bink, thank you. I'll take that. And then we're going to head to these coordinates right here. Mm-hmm. Sure does lead to these coordinates. All right. So this leads to this door. Let's go ahead and pop the key in, the warden's key. Open sesame. This is why I call it Indiana Jones. It's because this is what it looks like. Now, the wardens, last time I checked, they were all extinct. Some of them led like a little bit of a rebellion to try to, or try to survive, and that didn't work either. And I guess all of them had died at some point in time, thanks to that big meteor crash site that we know of, uh, the big asteroid that hit and left a big old hole in the ground. So some of their technology is still here, though, so that's why we're finding places like this, like these little locations. Uh, I believe this also explains why their uh, ships always crash in this area, but here's some cool stuff if you want to read it. Uh, we're almost exactly the same. I think the wardens look very similar to humans. Okay, I think that's what they're trying to get across here. There's also some cool stuff here. If you would like to read it, good time to pause the video and take a look. Uh, I've already read these through on several other, uh, on, on either of the other seasons, so just kind of get moving on right here. Um, and then back here, I believe, is another key and some more coordinates for us to try to get to. So this is a little bit like a scavenger hunt, but, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's what we need to do. Let me grab the key, and uh, we, I'll, I'll write down these coordinates, so we're going to have to head there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is the... Former Super Alloy Cave, now Sulphur Cave. But I'm not 100% sure. My memory is really, really rough. Alright, and then back here is another location we can get to. Bigger bam You can see their ship. Okay, this is a ship I believe that the Wardens showed up on when they were trying to run away from presumably humans, I'm guessing. And here it is. Like, I want to go there, but I've never had the courage to actually jump off the edge since I've never died <laughs> in this series. I don't want to even try but I would love to go there and raid it. Wouldn't that be cool? They probably have like, I don't know, they probably got like an Easy Boy recliner in there. Something, something I can relax on. But, nah, I'll, I'll come back and get it later. 
All right, so we got some new coordinates to go to. Uh, let's go take a little bit of a vacation. I think we're going to say au revoir to the uh, mushroom cave, though. I did not find a glowing larva, though, while I was down here. So maybe I'll hang around, or I wonder if those only appear once you reach the uh, larva stage itself. Hmm. I'll, I'll take the long way through it, and if we find one, we find one. And if we don't, well, then we don't. Hmm, I think this is going to have to fall under the uh, you don't category. All right, we're getting out of these caves here. I did not find one of the glowing larvae. I'm guessing I need to wait just a little bit longer to get those. Am I going to get hit with rocks as soon as I poke my head out of the hole here? Or is it just a sandstorm? I think it might just be a sandstorm. All right, let's hightail it back to the base. This area is pretty much open now, so I can just kind of fly through here, no problem. Stash this inventory full of goods I just got, and we got one key here that we got to take with us. But let's head to the base, stash our stuff, and we'll head out to those coordinates. This is a really bad sandstorm. Holy cow, I can't even see barely in front of me. That's nuts. I haven't seen one that bad, I think, ever. All right, let's get in here. I have a bunch of stuff that I have to sort out and uh, and dump in my inventory or in, in my storage area here, so give me a hot second here. Okay, the sandstorm is past. We can slurp up some water from the lake. I don't actually need to be taking any water with me. I kind of forgot that last time. I do still need to grab some food. Food wouldn't be a bad idea to take with me. But uh, let's head to those coordinates now. We do have the key with us, and we do have a spot, uh, place to make, uh, or materials to make a breathable spot, rather. So we'll, uh, we'll be fine there. Now, we just had to get out there. Now, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it is the super alloy mine. Well, the sulfur mine now. Um, that used to be the super alloy mine. Big door in the back of that, and you usually get an achievement when you approach it, too, because uh, it's called door. Uh, and, yeah, I think, I think that's where we got to head now. 964, uh, 68... 1744 is where we're heading. All right, here we are at the sulfur mine, which I probably should empty this out, but uh, I'll hold off on that until I'm coming back out. How, how are we doing anyway? Yeah, we're, getting, we're making sulfur. Let me grab that. Actually, do I have a locker in here that I can just dump that? No, I don't. Uh, hold on a second. Do I have a piece of iron in here? I do. Boy, I have two. If I have another one, that would be great. If I could find another piece of iron, like right here, that'd be amazing. All right, that way I can make an actual proper storage locker in here to your uh, the, the regular storage locker, not just the chest. And we'll dump all that in there. Okay, keep digging up some stuff, buddy. All right, let's go inside here, and we'll fly over here. This guy probably is really confusing if you don't know where you are in this world, but right here is a big old door, okay? And we are sitting around, uh, what did I say? We we're 964 we're heading, so 964 is like right here. Yeah, right here. 1744. So it's like, it's like right around here. So yeah, that's, this is where we're supposed to be. 68 is the elevation. So yeah, we're supposed to be here. Okay, let's go ahead and just drop the warden's key in here. Bing. More Indiana Jones stuff happens. Open sesame. All right, that's gonna take him off the Sunday so much. <laughs> Get through there. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do a little dance as it's opening behind us. Ow! Get down tonight. Ooh, get down. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Let's let's get exploring. Now in here the jetpack is gonna completely fail. Unless they pick nope, it completely failed. Okay, so we can't use our jetpack in here. So one thing about these warden locations is you can't use your jetpack, and I don't know why. I don't think it has like a Wi-Fi signal or something it loses when you go underground, so I don't know. Alright, so we got a fork in the road here. Let's go this way first, because there is a mechanism key. However, there is no coordinates on this one. For those of you who know, you know. That this is not the only one in here. Okay, so we're gonna need that one. We're, I, think, I think there's like what two more, two more or something that we gotta find in here. All right, so then let's go this way. The other fork in the road. And we're gonna go this way to this little bridge, which looks really terrifying. What's down there? I don't know. Don't want to know. And this is probably one of my favorite parts in the game. Actually, is I can build in here, right? Like I do have materials to actually build a breathable place. Oh no, I, I can't. Good to know. Okay, you know, let's just step outside real fast and go get a breath of fresh air. Okay, I can use my jetpack here, so can I build here? Yes, I can. Okay, see, that's good to know. Good thing I tested that before I suffocated and died. I probably should have oxygen uh, canisters with me. I recall being able to build in there before, but maybe I was wrong. Could be mistaken. All right, breath of fresh air, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to send it. We're just we're launching ourselves down these stairs like like uh, Chris Farley and Black Sheep. Okay, we're just... Gah, 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 gah. Alright, so we are on a time limit, so this is going to have to be a quick viewing of this. If you have never seen this place before, you're going to get a very, very fast look at it. I believe there's a gold chest in here, and we have to get up top to try to get some of the mechanism, uh, the keys. But check out the buildings that are down here. This looks so cool. I love this place. Yes, look at that. 
looks awesome. All right, now here's one mechanism here, and I believe there's one up top up there too. So we're just gonna grab, grab quick. No coordinates on that one either. <laughs> speed running, speed running. And here there is a gold chest, I believe. Hey, jump, hey, up here. Uh, <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Go, 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 gold chest, got it. All right, let's take, ooh, blueprint. Let's take everything out of there and please break that down. All right, now, if you would like to know some of the lore and story, I am gonna run over here real quick, place for you to pause the video, yeet. Check that out. Cool. Pause. Yeah. Great. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> I am on a time limit, people. I do not want to suffocate and die out here. Oh, oh I'm stuck. On, oh, 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 I'm going to suffocate and die out here. All right, I don't believe there's anything else in here. Even this back room, I think, is completely empty. Yep, okay. So let's get down to the uh, the next part where we have to do a little bit of running. All right, now the reason... Oh, man, I'm... Running low on oxygen. I'm trying to keep track of how much oxygen. You know, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go get a breath of fresh air, and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back to where we are. Let's get ourselves a breath of fresh air. Good. And back down the stairs we go. I also feel I should probably point out as we're running in here again that I just bragged about not needing to bring a water bottle with me because I am going, I can just drink out of lakes. And then I go to the driest place on the planet where there are no, <laughs> where there are no lakes. So I am going to have to move because of that. Now we're going to do the little parkour run up here because up here is where the, um, the next mechanism is. All right. So we're going to have to just run around the building and get around here. Now this also does explain why places keep crashing, like why things keep crashing. It's because of this. It's because of this thing right here. This orb, this weapon keeps causing things to crash. Looks cool. It causes things to crash. All right. And it explains that. Right over here. Everyone pause and read. Great. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> uh, so it explains that right over there. But like I said, limited oxygen. So I'm gonna, we're, we're speed running through this here. Whew. All right. And here is the next coordinates we want to go to. Let's take the key out of here. That's the next coordinates we need to get to. So we got to write those things down. And then we're going to fly over to that location. All right. I got the coordinates jotted down. Let's just... Oh, I don't have a jetpack. Oh, man, I forgot. I just jumped off. I just hugged the building there. I forgot my jetpack doesn't work. I just yeeted when I should not have yeeted, but I managed to save it because apparently physics be damned. I can just, like, reverse course in midair. I love video games that allow you to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get a breath of fresh air, break down our, our thing that we got there. We, we have plenty of space. I left it back there. I left our um, breathable uh, atmosphere, our breathable box back there so that I could open up as much inventory space as possible, but I didn't need it. So let's get back up the stairs and go get a breath of fresh air and then head on off to the next location. Whew, air. Okay. I love that place down there, though. It looks really cool. I'll have to go back and do a little more exploring. You know, just kind of looking every nook and cranny. Um, you know, later when I have a breathable atmosphere. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this uh, sulfur cave and maybe grab the stuff on the way through here that we... Uh, ooh, a new message received. Um, hmm. Okay, let's grab as much sulfur as we can, which is all of it, which is awesome. Okay, maybe we should run back to the base real quick. First, I gotta get a drink of water, but maybe we should run back to the base real quick. Check that message, because if it opens up the trade rockets, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, and also dump our inventory, and then we're... Keep the keys, though, because I'm gonna need all three of them. Uh, three of them, right? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna need all three of them. But we're gonna keep the keys so that we can uh, open up the next door. But I wonder if Riley talked to us now that we went to that location he told us about. Okay. What is this message? I was so important I had to run back here. Message from Sentinel Corp. Okay, what do they have to say? Our senses detected that the conditions on your planet should ensure wild larva on the surface. Oh, I hit the larva stage. <laughs> High five, everybody. <laughs> uh, place the larva in an incubator to breed endemic species uh, of bees and butterflies. You need these species to fulfill your mission and increase the spread of the terraformation process, or the speed of the terraformation process, rather. Um, you are uh, close, being closely watched. Let us remind you that sh you shouldn't use communication devices to contact anyone other than Sentinel Corp. And then I look over here and I got convict number whoever, Riley, 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 Sentinel Corp, Sentinel Corp. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, they contacted me. Let's just be clear about that. I didn't contact anybody. I'm not going to take the blame for that. All right, we're working our way to the breathable atmosphere, which is awesome. Now, my reduction of uh, uh, oxygen, the bottom left underneath my oxygen levels, uh, it says negative 1.5 per second. Okay, so as that drops, I'll be getting closer to 100%. And I think I'm going to definitely need to boost some terraformation for that to happen. The place where I'm going to be heading to next, I'm pretty sure I can build in. So I'm not as worried about that, okay? 
So we're going to go head out to the cool warden location, but I got to dump my inventory real fast. I also want to figure out what this is. Uh, microchip, microchip, microchip. Uh, what is this thing? Explosive! <laughs> I can blow stuff up now. <laughs> uh, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I, do I, do I, uh, yeah. do I continue with the warden stuff or do I go blow something up? Okay, okay. Breathe, everybody. I know that's exciting. <laughs> I know that's exciting, but let's continue with the warden stuff. And once we're finished with that, we'll have a little bit of fun, you know, it'll be a good time. All right, so let's grab our beans. I don't have a lot of inventory space, so we're just going to drop that in there. Let me sort some stuff first, and then we'll grab the rest of our beans and... We'll see what it takes to make some explosives, maybe. Just, just, you know, for, just for our knowledge, you know? Okay. How do I make explosives? Is it here? It is. Okay, so we got the flare, which we unlocked recently, which will come in handy when we start doing, like, the portals and going to different places and stuff like that with the procedurally generated wrecks. It, it gets a little confusing in those things. So we're going to use flares to find our way out. <clears throat> but explosives, a circuit board, and an explosive powder. You don't say, huh? Because I have, like, some explosive powder right here. And I'm pretty sure I have some circuit boards. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. That's something I have. Okay. Next episode, people, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a blast next episode. <laughs> okay, but for today's episode, though, we're going to continue focusing on... Whew, man, I'm, I'm excited about that. We're going to continue focusing on, um, the, uh, the warden stuff. So we got to get to these locations, which is, like, 1565, 109... 2500 and I believe it's way over there. It's over there by kind of like the rainbow caves if I'm not mistaken uh, Unless I'm going completely the wrong direction and they added something completely new. I'm pretty sure it's over there though This is still such a cool location man. They have done a bang-up job on this I know I was here last episode, but look at this place It's just so cool. Oh, there's that wreck that we know that we need explosives to get through <laughs> I am excited for next episode. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going to the warden location here. Cut through this really amazing looking valley. Um, this was Valley of the Flowers back in the day. I made it look pretty with a whole bunch of flowers, and now they got a bunch of natural flowers here to make it look pretty. These things aren't going to like bite my leg off, are they? No, it looks like not. Not like a strange, massive Venus flytraps. Alright, so I think the location we're trying to get to is up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it is. There's a chest. There's a chest up here. Fertilizer, bean seed, sure, yep. We'll just take all of that. Actually, I'm probably going to need to... Hold on, wait one second. I'm probably going to need to leave some stuff in here. I, I'm mining that stuff up. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just take that. Um, I want to leave some stuff there because I'm going to need some inventory space. Now, I believe this is the door. And this is our altar right here. So this is where we want to be. Now, this takes three of them. And that's why we needed to grab three from that other location. So let's go ahead and drop these in here. And open sesame! My god, I very nearly set, suffocated waiting for that. <laughs> Alright, let's get a breath of fresh air. Holy cow, that took a while. I, I suppose it is a giant cliff face that it's moving, so that's a pretty impressive door. i probably build something like that in Minecraft or something. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> and jetpack fails. New message received. Jetpack fails right there. Okay, sweet. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got, we got something. Ooh. <gasps> oh, trade rocket! Yes! Trade space rocket thing! God, oh man, there's so much stuff. Next episode's gonna be crazy. Okay. <laughs> but this is an important one because you gotta get in here because the golden larvae are in here, okay? This is an important place to be. Uh, but check this place out. It looks way more majestic when there's not a whole lot of fog. Or or does it? I kinda see god rays coming through. That looks incredible, actually. But yeah, look at this place. This looks nuts. Rare larva. I bet you you're not the rarest. Okay, so it is really windy in here right now because uh, we just happen to come here when there's a sandstorm brewing. But yeah, this is like the, the stronghold for the Warden. This is like their temple. This is their their big, big thing. <laughs> okay? So now, here in this place, you can find the common larva, rare larva, all sorts of other stuff like that, but you can also find golden larva. Uh, however, what we need to do is we need to find all the keys to open this place, but what I really need is for the dang wind to stop. Gonna hide in my box. Hide in my box until the windstorm ends. 
Okay, I think it's fading. I think it's fading, but oh, stop petting your tool. It's weird. It's weird, okay? Uh, but like a true professional, I did not bring any food with me. I can get water while I'm out here, so that's not really a concern of mine, but I did not bring any food, so I'm actually a little bit on a time limit once again. Not to mention the oxygen is a problem. Okay, so let's grab this. Uh, here's one warden key right here. Now, the reason why I'm grabbing a warden key is because if you go up here to the front of this thing, if you have never played this game before and you're like, wow, what's going on? Uh, there's this cool thing here. We, uh, once we lived, a warden said that. And there's this thing right here. It takes five keys. So there's one of them, all right? So it opens this door, which I think looks really cool. Kind of looks like lapis colored. You know, it might even be lapis. Or cobalt. Could be probably cobalt. Because cobalt's actually on this planet. All right, so let's go and, uh, do a little run here and see if we can't find the rest of the keys. One of them, like I said, was right there. Another one, I believe, is back here. Yep, right down here. So that's two. We're already almost halfway there. Let's just see if the developers did add... I, I pointed out a secret location, which would have been an amazing spot for a secret, right behind these bushes. I pointed that out in one episode. Yeah, last season. Let's see if they added anything. Nope. Golden chest opportunity right there. Shaking my head. Shaking my head like I'm kind of disappointed. Look at how cool this place is. I'm not actually disappointed at all. <laughs> Breath of fresh air. And let's get back out there. There's a bug there. I'm looking to make sure that those aren't golden larvae that I'm walking right past. But I'm not overly searching very hard for them. All right, so to get up there, there is actually like a golden thing up there. I think that's one of the key holders up there. We got to get up there, so we're gonna have to run the gauntlet and get up there. All these scaffolding, catwalk things, we gotta gotta climb up here. Now some of these look a little broken down, a little sketchy. And I don't have my jetpack, so if you're afraid of heights, this is not a really great up great time for you. Don't have uh, if you have vertigo, don't look down. All that stuff. Keep your hands and legs inside of the cart at all times. All right, we're getting up to the top here. Heat jump. Uh, oh, oh, I almost fell off right there. I had a little bit of a pucker factor. All right. Oh, I almost did it again. <laughs> all right. The warden altar. Let's grab this one. All right. So that's three. Now there's still two more. And I remember where one of them is. I think I remember where both of them are. I think they're on the other side. So I gotta, I gotta climb down now, safely. Okay, we're back down here on the ground. Let me slurp up some of this lake right here, or this uh, river right here, rather. And uh, the next two, I believe, there's one somewhere in the middle-ish around here, and then there's one up top there, I believe, somewhere. So let's uh, let's go up here. Let's go up here for a little bit. I wish I could use my jetpack; would make my life a whole lot easier, but I can't, so I'm not going to cry. But here, here go. Like right here in the middle of somewhere is one of them right there. Bam, got it. All right, so now that we just need the final one, and that's way up top there, kind of near that water wheel. So. I think we can get up over here. Yep, yep, yep. Memory. My memory is like a steel trap, people. I never forget anything. And if I do, I don't remember it. So, <laughs> all right. So we're still running this gauntlet. This is nothing. That's a dead end. That's just there to fool you. Uh, we're gonna go up here, and there's this root right here, which I'm just gonna take a quick peek around, take a quick squiz, and see what's going on. I'm running low on oxygen. Squiz over. All right. So <laughs> we gotta go up here. We're gonna climb the root. Make sure I don't fall off the edge. And there's the altar right there. Just looking around real fast. There's the altar right there. Let's grab this one. Bam. We got the fifth and final key. Now I can go back down, climb the route. And now, because I don't have a jetpack, otherwise I just yeet. But I'm not going to be yeeting right now. I do have to get back down to get a breath of fresh air, though, because I'm starting to run a little low. All right. Yeet. Yeetimus Maximus. All right. So we, uh, I believe once I open this door, then golden larva can appear. So let's just get up there and do that because again a food is running out I'm halfway down with my food and I need to get back and get I need to get back to base to get that all right so once we lived you shall live again sort of not really all right there you go open sesame let's get inside here any day now it's gonna be great just wait it's amazing inside there so cool it's gonna be worth the wait Thank God, I almost fell asleep. All right, let's get inside here. Let's go through all the ivy vines. <laughs> right in the face and check this out. Bam, I love this place. This actually might be my favorite room, actually, in the entire area. Favorite favorite area. Look at all the golden butterflies. Still living in here after all this time. Now, why are these here? Well, because these are here. So here's this. Before, uh, once again, a calamity befalls us. This is talking about the oncoming uh, uh, meteor that's going to hit the hit the planet and kill them all. Uh, so they're just gonna accept their fate this time. Not all of them do that. We find that out in a little bit later. Spoiler. But, uh, they have these golden crates here, okay? So inside here is terror tokens. Money. Sweet. That's the first money I got so far this season. But there's also this, the golden butterfly larva. That's a big one. Alright, let's grab the golden seed as well. And that, that, everything. Alright, I'll leave the crates here just for decorative purposes, but yeah. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab this too. Tarot tokens. Money. Another golden butterfly larva, which is awesome. Can we grab everything? We can. All right, sweet. So we got everything. I'll leave the crates there, like I said, for decorative purposes. But this place looks so amazing. I love it. All right, enough ogling here, though. As cool as this is, I just want to snag a couple of these things. Can I just, like, just snatch one right there and bring it back? Uh, as cool as this is, uh, there's one flowing through. Oh, my God, he's in my face. He's in my face. He's coming from my throat. Ah, he's coming. He's attacking me. Oh, I backed into one. Uh, as cool as this is, um, I don't have time to look at this because I'm going to die of dehydration or of uh, starvation and uh, oxygen deprivation. So, got it. We got the butterfly larva. We got out of there with them. So, we can actually get to doing stuff with those. However, I don't think I can do anything with those, right? Like, have I unlocked... I'm going to keep this breathable place here, by the way. Have I unlocked uh, anything that I can use those on? I don't think so. We should probably look into that. Let me grab a drink of water as we go past here. And now we're going to have to hightail our blue little booty. we got a blue suit on now. Uh, out of here because I don't have a breathable place with me. Pushing it to the limits. And uh, and we're going to have to try to get to the next one, which I believe is like the sulfur cave. <laughs> so let's get moving. Got my jetpack back. Let's just go. I still have plenty of oxygen, it looks like. So I think I can make it. With uh, time to spare, I have a free spot here, so I'm going to snag this osmium. Not like we desperately need it, but I just have an opening. All right, so let's get going, and uh, I believe our breathable location is somewhere in that direction. All right, we made it to the breathable place. Get a breath of fresh air. No time to dawdle. We got to get back so that we can actually get uh, some food in our belly, because we're getting a little hungry. All right, made it back. Didn't die. Pretty great stuff, actually. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some food. Good. All right, now I have a whole inventory of stuff to sort, but uh, then we gotta look into seeing what technology do we even have? Like, we explored all the warden stuff. Oh, we got a new message too. Hold on, wait, before I do any of that stuff, let's look at the message. Uh, I th believe this is the space trading something. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Can we go down, please? There we go, Riley. After months of hard work, I finally managed to find my way into this uh, Sentinel, uh, into the Sentinel unlocking process and unlock the space trading rocket on your system. Thank you, Riley. The one useful thing that you do here is that. Uh, usually terraformers are not able to use this, but uh, it should help you. Uh, chances of surviving are greatly improved when it is activated. Some Sentinel, uh, but Sentinel almost never allows this for planet crafters. I have no way to tell you if you are still alive or not. If only we could uh, see, each, uh, see each other again. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that I am dancing because now I can start doing some space trading. Okay, now, that's great and all, but I don't really have a lot of supplies to trade. So I'm going to have to start getting some farms up and running. We really need those drones. Those drones make life a lot easier. All right, so before I start my inventory, what, what are we working with here? Okay, so <laughs> we got we to gotta unlock like the butterfly farm, or this at least, bare minimum that, okay? To uh, to actually unlock the actual butterflies, and that's 140 T. We are 106 T off of that. Okay, plants. I think uh, I think we need to spend some quality time with plants. The tree spreader unlocking would be phenomenal, but to do that, we need to increase the biomass. Flowers. Okay, that's what it is. Tree spreader unlocks with biomass. I think we found the next thing that we got to focus on is biomass. Whew, oh boy, that's a thing. All right, I got to start my inventory real fast. Okay, the last thing to sort are the bugs, all right? We got two golden butterfly larvae. That is awesome. All right, that's actually the first butterfly larva that we got, too, is the golden one. So I'm really spoiled <laughs> because those are, like, the best ones you can get. Uh, well, at least at this stage in the game. I think some of the ones you get through space trading, you can get a little bit better. But all right, you guys, we explored the wardens in this uh, episode. We unlocked explosives. And we need to focus on biomass coming up here, okay? So biomass is our next big thing. If we are to do anything with those golden butterfly larvae, we need to unlock the uh, butterfly farm or butterfly dome at the bare minimum, okay? So we need to get this stuff unlocked, all right? So this is that we're like halfway to the beehive. We're slacking on this. And the only thing that we have boosting our biomass right now is plants. And that's because that's the only thing we can do. Once we unlock the beehive, we can start doing insects also to help that along. But for right now, it's just plants. So we need to focus on that. In the next episode but this episode i think i'm going to wrap up so thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of planet crafter if you did enjoy please be sure to go down and hit that like button it uh, helps me out tremendously and would you look at that would you just look at that just look right there i'm waving at it <laughs> that thing right there in this general area look at that we're making our way to the uh breathable atmosphere so we're getting close on that too and once we boost some of the plants that'll help that 
go you know, a little bit better. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Send to a world unknown crime untold. Planet craft is tale. In its secrets unfold. Barren lands stretch far. Beneath the darkened sky. My task to forge life. Where emptiness lies. Scarce resources is what I seek. Under alien sun where every day is bleak. Autocrafters hum. Drones in motion glide. In this quest for redemption. My fate is tied. Let's make it